Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the style of a blog post title in your Squarespace website. At the time of recording this video, the blog post title is set to match what you have assigned for the heading one font in your Squarespace website. But thanks to a little bit of CSS, we can make it uniquely yours. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to change the size of that title as well as the color and even the font family. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'd love to show you how they work, how to install them, and how to combine them in your Squarespace website. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace looking at a blog post, and these are all the codes that we're gonna use today. The first one we're gonna start off with will change the size of the title. Again, this reflects the H1 style of your website. Maybe you want something a little smaller or a little bigger. We're gonna use this code right here to make that magic happen. I'm going to navigate to design and then select custom CSS. And this is where we'll paste the code. You'll notice pretty quickly that the actual entry title or blog post title shrunk down to something a lot smaller. Now you can adjust this value to anything you want. I use 25 PX, but you can also use a different value like maybe 2 REM is more appropriate for the size of the text that you want to go for. Now the next code we have here is to change the color. If that's all you want to change, just copy this code and then update this hex color code to be the color you want it to be. However, I'm going to combine these two lines of code to change the color and the font size. So I'm just going to copy this right here. And after the word important in my first code, I'll add a semicolon and paste this color change. And now it's changed to a teal. So again, I just added this semicolon little symbol right there that separates these property and value changes. So I can change both the size and the color in one line of code. After that, we have the blog post title weight. I think it's really important to mention that the font weight is going to be specific for the font family that you have. I use Poppins, which means I have a lot of options for the different weights in my font. Yours might not be able to go lighter. It might not be able to be bold. It's going to be specific for your font family. But let's say you're using something super flexible like I am. I'll add another semicolon. I'll say font weight lighter. I can also go in the opposite direction, say font weight bold, and make the font a lot more bold than it was before. Now, last but not least, you can actually change the font family if you want to, but only if this font is installed on your website. I have another object on my site that's already assigned the lobster font family. If you have another font family in Squarespace, you can assign it here. I'll go ahead and paste this code and we can see now the blog post title has completely changed. Again, that will only be for a font family installed on your site. Check the related videos linked below if you'd like to learn how to install a custom font in your Squarespace website. Now let's assume you've got all of this done and it's great, but what you actually wanted to change was the blog post title on the blog post list, not the individual post itself. If that's the case, I want you to replace entry title with blog title. I'll go ahead and do that here in our code. We'll select save. You'll notice this blog post went back to normal. And if we navigate back to the main blog itself, I'll type that in the URL here. You'll now see that all of the blog titles here inside my blog list have changed to that lobster font family in a bold font that is this specific color that is this specific size. Now let's go back to that blog post so I can show you. Again, we changed entry title to blog title. If we change it back, we'll actually see these being applied to the title on the page itself. There we go. And one last code change that I wanted to mention was you can actually do this for a summary block as well. Replace the word entry title with summary title. So if you're using a summary block for your blog post, that's how you change the title in a summary block. Now, last but not least, if you want to do this to one individual blog post and not all of them, totally possible. Take this exact same code that you have here in custom CSS, I'm pressing Control X on my keyboard to remove it. Notice it goes back to the way it was. We're going to hop into edit mode. And here, I'm going to click this plus sign and I'm going to add a code block. There we go. Now that I've added this code block, I can have multiple types of code here. So I need to tell the browser I'm adding a style code, a CSS code by saying the word style. And then I'll paste the code we created right here. And you'll notice it's now updated on this blog post. We'll select save, and I'd love to show you this next part. This is only happening on this specific blog post. We'll go ahead and exit the editor. And if we scroll down here and we go to the next blog, you'll notice this has the original title style. But if we go back to that blog post we're on, it only happens on this specific one. 
So again, you need to add this to a code block and don't forget to paste your code between style brackets like this. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I can't include these specific characters. So zoom in on your screen here or click on the link to grab the code from my blog directly where I actually can use these characters. Again, I can't do that in a YouTube description, but on my blog, this code is below. And again, you'll find all of these codes below, but I'm going to paste it over here on the side just to give you one last reminder. As we're changing these codes, if you want to combine them, like maybe add the title size and the color to the same line, just add a semicolon and you can keep it in the same line of CSS all applied to this specific selector. Whatever you've decided to customize, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. You'll find all the codes that I just shared with you in the description below, where you'll also find links to related content on my blog that can help you customize your Squarespace website even more. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available in a Notion database, you can have access to all of the custom codes that I use for modifying Squarespace websites. In here, you'll find selectors, pre-made style snippets, and a bunch of pro tips. So even if you're brand new to all things CSS, you're going to love the content you'll find here. To get lifetime access to this Notion database of custom code for Squarespace, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.